Hi everyone, it's me, Diana the Del Fairy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a package that was sent to me by Leisure of Dolls. If you're a part of the Smart Doll community, you may have seen their ads floating around. Leisure of Dolls is a new site that is selling hand-styled Smart Doll wigs. And from what I can see, they look gorgeous. And I'm kind of fangirling over their marketing campaign. <laughs> I just love the video clips that they have created and the photos that they've taken of these wigs. Um, they seem to have kind of like a salon diorama that they have created and it just looks amazing. I was completely drawn to their ads and I cannot wait to see the wigs that they've created and that they've sent me. This package is a complete surprise. I don't know what wigs are in it, so I'm really excited to check them out. And then of course we will try them on some of my dolls. So let's get started. Okay, so here is the package. So it feels fairly wavy. Like there's a few wigs in here, so I'm really excited. Ooh. Oh wow, look at this packaging. The packaging is like custom printed. The bag is like this cloudy, clear material. It's got like a zipper on it. So this is totally like a reusable bag. Really loving that. Here's the first one. It looks like it might be a brunette color. So let's open it up. Oh, that's a really pretty color. Oh wow, look at this. I do not have one like this. This is, this is really pretty. Okay, so this is like a, so it's like a deep brown color. Um, it has a bit of a reddish tinge to it. It's sort of a little bit wavy, but like a very gentle wave to it especially towards the bottom. It's parted on the top. It's a really, really pretty brown color because it's it's kind of like a medium between dark and light, but like I said, it has like reddish tones in it. It feels very soft, a lot like, you know, real hair. Like it doesn't feel like it's, it doesn't feel like nylon. It doesn't feel like some other sort of synthetic material, although I I assume that it is some kind of synthetic material, but it feels very much like real hair and it kind of looks like it behaves like real hair would. Okay, let's see what else is in here. I oh, definitely have a couple more in here. Ooh, oh, I'm exciting. Oh, I love this color, okay. This might be their Moscato color, which I saw on their Instagram and which I was really very drawn to. Okay, so this one is a similar style, but it doesn't have waviness to it. It is straight all the way to the bottom. And this one is really, really soft, feels even softer and maybe even a little bit thicker than the first one. And I'm just really loving the uniqueness of this color. I've just zoomed in so you can see the details of the color, all the different strands in here. Um, I can't really tell if there are, if it's a mix. It kind of looks to me like a blend of a couple of colors. I don't even know how to really describe this color other than it's it's a little pinkish, it's a little orangish, and it's a little brownish too all at once. I am really loving the feel of the fibers. Really easy to comb your fingers through. Hope you don't mind that buzzing noise. I'm now right next to the kitchen, so that's the refrigerator. All right, let's see what else we have in here. Okay, this one is a totally different color. It looks like a bright yellow. Okay, let's check out this bright yellow wig. I can't remember what the name of this color was. I think it's called Moonlight Yellow, actually. 
which is a really pretty way to describe it. Oh, so this one has these gorgeous waves on the ends of it. Look how pretty that is. I really love how that looks. Also parted in the, uh, well, maybe not the middle, but it's parted on top and fairly straight on the top, but it ends in these beautiful waves. The color is very bright. It feels almost like lemony, summery, very happy looking. Okay, and I believe there is just one more wig still in here. Oh, and here is the business card. Let's look at that first. Oh, it's not even, a, it's a care card. Oh, this is awesome. These are the different colors that we just looked at. And I guess the last one is Love Spell Red. So I'm excited about that one. But we have Pink Moscato, Moonlight Yellow, Love Spell Red, and Dark Golden Brown. And on the back here, it tells us how to take care of the wigs. Comb the wig gently starting from the bottom up. It tells us how to deal with flyaways and that they're heat safe up to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so let's look at our last wig. So this one, as we can see, is in Love Spell Red. Wow, this is so bright and vibrant. It's a really pretty color. looks like this one has bangs. Okay, so this one has bangs along the top and it has waves toward the bottom. I'm really, really loving the waves. Maybe this is even a little more curly than the yellow one. Not quite sure. Let's see. I can kind of separate the curls a little bit. They're very gentle curls. Oh, look how pretty that is. You know who this wig reminds me of? Definitely Ariel. This one also feels very soft. Here's a closer look at the color. And since we haven't yet, let's take a look at the inside. We have really nice stitching here. The inside cap is a light color to prevent any sort of staining. And yeah, it looks really, really well constructed. Look at this. And the concentration of fibers is definitely enough that you're not gonna see any wig cap poking through. So these are all the wigs that we've received. We have the pink Moscato, the moonlight yellow, Love Spell Red and Dark Golden Brown. They are all really long and gorgeous, um, so I'm really excited to try them on. I wanna say thank you so much to Leisure of Dolls for sending these to us so that we can take a look, I could share them with you guys, and you can see the beautiful colors and styles that Leisure of Dolls has available. And my guess is that they're gonna have even more available moving forward since this is just the very beginning of their shop. So, so let's try these on some of my dolls. So here we are in the diorama. Um, this is going to be our little salon chair setup. Okay. <laughs> We're going to start with Envisage. Here's Envisage in her default sunset orange wig. And we're going to try the Moscato wig on her first. Let's remove her default wig. Okay. Here's the pink Moscato. Oh, look how pretty. So the lighting in here is a little different than where I opened it up. So um, I feel like you might be able to see the color a little bit better even right now. 
Okay, I'm so excited for this one. Okay, so Envisage is no stranger to the straight, long hair look, but this is a new color for her and wow. Wow, oh my goodness, I am really loving that. This is gorgeous. I mean, this is like pink hair, but like the most natural looking pink that you could come up with. Like it just really, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Wow, wow, I, I thought I was gonna like this one, but like I like it even more than I thought I was going to. And I really like, I mean, she has like this sort of periwinkle colored dress on and I'm really, I'm really liking how that looks. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. I feel like it really brings out the blushing on her face. It also really makes her turquoise eyes pop. I'm a huge, huge fan of this. I also want to try this one on Mirai. Here is my Mirai. She's going to take a turn in this chair. Okay, so let's try this wig on her. I think it's gonna go really nice with her eyes too. Oh, I really like it. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I don't know, I just, I just think this wig is gorgeous. I really, 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 really like this color. And it's just, it has such a nice shape to it like it's it's straight but it has like this lovely curve to it I, I don't know how to explain that but it falls so nicely on the doll wow I feel like this also really brings out her eyes like it makes her eyes look a little more gold a little more not reddish but it brings out like this pinkish gold color in her eyes that like I never really thought her eyes were pinkish but now they look a little bit pinkish because of this wig so all right before we move on from this wig who else can I try it on I'm gonna try this on entropy okay here's entropy let's remove her wig I think this is gonna look really really nice on her too Oh my gosh, just when I think I can't love this wig more. Wow, that goes so nicely with her eyes. So, so far it looks really nice with all the eyes we've tried so far. If she was wearing blue, this would look so, so good. But um, just if you don't look at her outfit and you just look at her face, the wig like really brings out the pink in her face, the blushing on her face and her lips. And I really love how the color looks with her eyes. I feel like I need to try this wig on every single doll. Here is Fable. Her wig that she wears is like, her face up is perfectly suited to this wig, but you just never know until you try new things. Okay. Okay, this has a different look i like it though i think something about the way i did fable's face up like the fact that her eyebrows are so light um i feel like her face up particularly doesn't go so well with this color but it, it still looks pretty cute actually like she just looks cute now juniper gets to try it all right, so Juniper has been rocking this wig from Dallas Dalco for a while. So let's see how the pink Moscato one looks since it's a similar style. Oh my gosh, yeah, no, I really actually like that a lot on her too. I think they're all gonna fight over this one because they all look really good in it. Again, I just love like this pink color 
with the turquoise in the eyes. I mean, obviously I just love turquoise eyes in general, but I think the pink looks so pretty with it. It's just such a subtle, classy pink color. Okay, now let's try out a different wig. Since Juniper is still here, I'm going to try the dark golden brown wig on her because I think that this will look really pretty on her. This one has such a unique wave to it. I feel like this wavy look will really suit her well. Oh my gosh, look how cute this is. The brown is just a really warm brown color that I really enjoy. Um, but even more than the color, I'm really loving this wavy style. This is just something different, I feel like. I don't have any other wigs with this sort of um, very natural looking wave to it. I also think that this would look really, really good like this. Let me see if I have a clip. I'll clip up so you can see how that looks because I think it would be really cute. Something like that. <laughs> Look at that. I just I just really love the style of this one. I'm, I'm just really enamored with it. She looks so cute. Now let's try this one on, hmm, let's try it on Envisage. Oh my gosh. You know, this would look amazing with a flower crown. look at that look I don't know like she feels like I feel like she belongs at like a music festival or something or even like I don't know just like a pretty girl living in the forest or something <laughs> I'm also gonna try this wig on Mirai too you know what this reminds me of I guess it's the brown eyes with this hair it is like she looks like Belle to me, I, I definitely am getting Belle vibes right now and I like it a lot. I think I actually particularly like the milk skin tone with this warm brown color for the hair. I think it looks really, really nice together. Let's also take a look at this wig on Entropy. Entropy is my only semi-real doll, so I feel like you have to do justice to how a semi-real doll might look in this too. This is really pretty as well. Again, the soft waves just create a different effect. So on Entropy, I don't know, I feel like she looks very real. Like she's just like a real girl, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense, but Okay, Mirai is going to be the first to try on the Moonlight Yellow wig. The yellow of this wig is extremely bright, and I've never put Mirai in such a bright color. So let's see what this is gonna look like. Mirai does have some yellow in her eyes, although it's more of a brownish yellow. Wow, okay. So I really love, love, love the styling of this wig. Um, just the way that it waves is just perfect. Like look how this falls. It's just so pretty. Um, I do think the yellow is a little bright for Mirai, but I think in a different outfit, <laughs> it would work better. Um, but it definitely has this sort of like, um, I don't know, like a vibrant anime character vibe to it to me, especially since Mirai has those big eyes. I feel like I'm getting Alice in Wonderland vibes maybe from her, um, which is always kind of a welcome thing too. Also, I want to add that my initial reaction feels kind of like, wow, this is like a really bright color. Like, I don't know if I could pull off this color. You know what I mean? I don't even know if my dolls can pull this off. But as I'm looking at it on her, I'm just loving it more and more. Okay, Juniper is gonna be the next to try on this wig. Okay, so because of her turquoise blue eyes, those Alice in Wonderland vibes are even stronger <laughs> with Juniper wearing this wig. 
and I just, I really like this. I also just really like the texture of it, of this wig. Like, I don't know what it is, but it's really fun to play with. Like, it's really soft and kind of, I guess, bouncy. Just again, the way that it's styled, I just love it. The curls aren't too big. They fall like in a realistic and very elegant way. Here is Prowess finally making an appearance in this video. Um, Juniper kind of had taken over her body basically. Um, but Prowess, I'm very excited to try the Love Spell Red wig on Prowess first because I think it's gonna go so well with her markings on her face and her deep pink eyes as well. My prowess also is no stranger to wearing bangs because of her default wig. So I think this is gonna look really good on her. All right, there she is with these gorgeous red waves. As I said before, <laughs> major aerial vibes from this wig, which I appreciate. And it does go perfectly with the stripes on Prowess's face. It's again, extremely bold, very eye-catching. We're gonna bring Envisage back. Oh my gosh. Wow, okay. <laughs> I think I like this even better on her than I did on Prowess. And the reason is because she reminds me of classic Mary Jane from like the Spider-Man comics and animated series um, with that like bright red wavy hair um, and the way that envisages, you know, expressions like a little bit sultry, I guess, just a little bit, but it definitely, definitely just gives me an immediate sense of like classic Mary Jane, the one who says like tiger all the time, you know? <laughs> okay, I also tried this on Mirai and she is so cute. I don't know, she just looks so adorable. She still has the Mary Jane vibes, but like in a sweeter, cuter, like really wholesome way. I don't know, she's just, well, she's the the girl next door aspect of Mary Jane, I feel like. Here is Summer, whose body was being occupied by Fable, my custom to Chitose. Um, and let's give Summer a shot at the red wig because I don't think it would look good on Fable, but I think it will look good on Summer. Wow, I like that so much. That's Summer in the love spell red and look how pretty she looks i really like how it looks with the t-skin and like i said I, I just don't think it would look good with fable specific makeup but with summer who has much more versatile makeup this red wig looks so cute on her and i love how it looks with the navy eyes too. Thank you so much to Leisure of Dolls for sending me these beautifully designed and beautifully styled smart doll wigs for us to check out together and take a closer look at here on my channel. I hope you had as much fun as I did checking out these beautiful wigs and trying them out on a whole bunch of my dolls. If you haven't yet, I highly recommend checking out Leisure of Dolls' new shop. The link will be in the description below, so check it out. Um, I highly recommend these wigs. I'm really loving them, and they're very high quality. And I wish all the best to Leisure of Dolls as they start this big endeavor of selling smart doll wigs. And as always, thank you to my patrons whose support helps make all of the doll magic on this channel possible. I hope you had fun watching and I'll see you all again very soon for more doll magic. Bye.